Hi and welcome to Excel VBA Lottery Number Generator and once you click on the command button here there are numbers, random numbers that are generated straight onto this uh, text box and um, those numbers are also inserted here so let me demonstrate how it works you see that guys, can you see that? so if I click on this very button see how it works that is how it works so what I will do next is take you guys into a new Excel sheet and um, develop a new lottery generator number so let's do that now so I'm gonna close this start a new program entirely there I will now press Alt F11 right there click on insert use a form select that and that is my form right there depend on you i intend to set the height of my form i'll set the height to three seven two and i will now set my width right here to seven nine eight that's the height and the width the next thing i will do is get myself the tools if you can find your tools it's right here that's it right there click on the tools select let's select a label that's my label right there I will set the width of my label to 744 and the height 78 the back color will be black then the font color right there I will set select my font color as inactive border now the caption right I will enter as follows lottery number generate generator or generator yeah and uh, the font I need to change my font to approximately 48 yeah that's fine make that bold as well and that is that just bring that in the middle right there or maybe somewhere here and the next thing I'll do is just copy the same label there okay i will now add six text box so the first thing is uh, let's set the property of this very text box uh, the width of the text box will be 114 and the height the height will be 93 there i will now copy six of these five more of these text box I might as well just get one command button right there okay close these five more of this very text box so let's try to line the text boxes properly let's move that up there that's fine so for my command button so let's just say uh, give that height of approximately 54 you don't have to do that but you can just drag it i just feel I should do it right for you guys all right that's my button there and the next thing is let's get the font the font i intend to use will be 24 make that 24 and maybe the background let's change the background in this case the background i'll make that black as well and the font i need let's make that yes something like that and uh, the caption right here let's change the caption to uh, three generator there so the design of the interface is ready so double click on the button itself right there on the command button procedure area just simply enter text box text box one dot text equals enter speech mac and just enter ran between open a bracket comma 49 close the bracket and close the speech mac close the bracket again so all you just need to do now is copy and enter five more of those there now just change these numbers to two three four five and six so that's it all you then need to do is run the program let's run the pro program you see that so i need to change the font size let's change the font size select it all change the font size to approximately 48 bring that up and change that to 48 there that's fine and run the program again see that's it so but there's a problem we have repeating numbers right there if you click again the repeating numbers are gone but that still haven't hasn't take care of the program problem so the next thing is let's write a simple line of code that we change if you end up with repeating numbers and what will happen to prevent repeating number all you have to say is if if text box text box one dot value equals 
so I'm, there's going to be a lot of copying and pasting equals copy that text box to paste that so I will now speed this up because it's going to take some time to complete the codes so these are the lines of code that will prevent the numbers from repeating itself and uh, let, me, let me just try it out if I click on this that is what you guys will get can you see that so the next stage is to format the cells here we just format let me close this format these cells let's come in here okay just uh, let me select all and change let me change the now let me need six of those really so just select here okay select from there and change the font size to about maybe 48 yeah that's fine and just for this very first part of it I will now enter lot of numbers generate okay so which means I will insert any of my numbers generated from here downwards so let's give that a try now but before then we need to go back into the VBA double click on the VBA and declare the following variable so right in there we declare a local variable dim worksheet as worksheets and uh, declare another variable dim add add item item as range right underneath my code here let me come right underneath so let me come right down so that you can see it so right here underneath here i will enter as follows set set worksheet equals sheet one now i've set my worksheet as sheet one i'll then say add items equals sheet dot range then the range will be from a let me make that a i want it to enter from a then let's make that sixty five thousand three hundred and fifty six right okay then we then say dot n open bracket x l r right there select that close that dot offset dot then that will be one comma zero so what that means is anytime i click on my buttons the lottery numbers we go from uh, sorry about that the speech mark should be there the lottery number we go to the next column so the next thing i'll now say is add items dot offset okay start from zero zero which is my very first column and row dot value equals text box text box one dot value all right so that's the first value the second i might as well just copy it that's for the third first text box second one third fourth fifth and sixth so those are the lines of codes all i need to do is change these ones to two three four five and six those are the six text boxes and the columns now change this to column one two three four and five so the zero stands for the very first column two three four of the six and that will be all so all i need to now do is just run the program for you guys okay let's try these numbers if i click on run let's do that you see right there there's no nothing there so let's click on generate numbers you see the first numbers right there now let's give it another go can you guys see that that is very very beautiful so what i'll do next is just show you guys one more time the codes double click on the buttons those are my variables right here are the random number generator and right here is just to change the numbers around if there's any duplications of the numbers and right here the codes right underneath here is just to add the numbers generated onto the spreadsheet itself i suppose you all enjoy the program so if i scroll back up you see all of the codes so i will run it one more time and take a good look of where we are so let me close this for now and go back to the spreadsheet right here you see the numbers end at number six right there so you see it row number six so if i now run these very codes again click 
you see it starting from row seven eight nine and so on and that's how you generate your own lottery number of course there are some other things you could have done we could have make it uh, add a timer and let it time the rotation of the numbers however that would be another tutorial maybe one of these days so with that i'm just going to call this the end of this uh, beautiful tutorial i advise you guys to give it a shot so you all have a nice day now